Hey there, I'm Meg. Did you know that you can make posts on your Google business profile? Well, if you clicked on this video, then obviously you kind of knew that that was a possibility. So in this video, we're going to dive into how, but before we do that, I wanted to share why. So Google business is excellent for search engine optimization or SEO. Now, because so many searches happen on Google than any other search engine, it's super important to take advantage of what Google has to offer to try to rank higher on their search results. Now, when you make a post on your Google business profile, you are essentially showing Google that you are an active user and your post can also link back to your website site, which is also even more of a benefit for SEO. So it's just kind of this compounding benefit. Basically, if there is a feature that you can use that Google offers, definitely try to take advantage of it. Now, if you do not have a Google business listing, I will link to the tutorial up above and down below on how to do that. So now that you know the backstory, let's dive into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is type in business.google.com in the URL at the top and you'll be brought to a screen that looks like this. If you're not brought here, one, make sure that you've created your Google business profile. Again, there's a tutorial on how to do that linked down below. Or the other reason could be that you have multiple Gmail accounts and you're not signed into the correct one. If that's the case, head on up to your profile picture here, hover over it, make sure that you are logged into the correct Gmail account. If not, just click on it and you can select the correct Gmail account from the dropdown or you can log into it. Okay, so yes, you can technically click edit and Okay, so from here, you can either click create post right here. I like to go into the listing and click create post here. And there are a few different options. They're pretty self-explanatory, but I'll just quickly breeze through them. COVID-19 update is, you know, like let's say you have to enforce a new policy or you have to close temporarily. You can make that update here and when it's posted, it will just have a little COVID-19 update next to it. Hopefully this all goes away at some point. So maybe if you're watching this tutorial in the future, it's no longer a thing. That would be fabulous. So the next one is offer, which is basically like a sale or a discount. So you can add a photo, a video, you can add a graphic, and then you give a title to your offer, and then you can add the start date, end date. If there's a specific time, like if the offer ends at 11.59 or 5 p.m., you can click this slider and you can add the times. And then if you need to add more details, like you want to explain the offer more in depth, or if there is a coupon code for online, et cetera, et cetera, you can do that here. And then you click publish and et cetera, et cetera, you're good to go. The one that I use the most is what's new. Now this is where I will post links to blog posts, links to YouTube tutorials, or things that I post on Facebook, Instagram, sometimes I'll post here. So how it works is you basically click here and you add a photo. Now for a YouTube tutorial, I don't add the video. I like to link directly to YouTube just because the videos are super long. It takes a while to load, but also because posts tend to, I've noticed that they disappear after I think it's 48 or 72 hours. So, um, you know, why put in all of that effort if it's just gonna go away? So I just link to the YouTube tutorial, but I would add the little thumbnail here and then you write your post, so write your caption, and then you can add a button which can link to a website. Like it can link to your website, it can link to YouTube, it can link anywhere, and you can just add a, select a word that kind of describes what the link is. Usually I go with learn more. And then again, click publish. Um, you can also preview too if you wanna make sure that your post looks okay before posting it. And then the next option is event, which is again, pretty self-explanatory. And then product just basically adds a link to where people can buy the product. They can't buy it from Google it'll link to your website where people can buy the product, but you can make a post about it and kind of add more attention. So 
let's say that you have made your post. Once you made your post, there will be a little pop-up that says, uh, if you wanna view your post, click here, which you can. Also view your post live and see how it looks on your actual Google business page by Googling your business. So the preview that we kind of just went over would just show you how the actual post looked. But if you Google your business, you can scroll down and you can see where the post goes. So they do end up down here and it looks like my posts have been sticking around for quite a bit, which is great. I don't know why for some reason it seemed like at one point they were expiring, like they were going away after a few hours, but it looks like that is no longer. So that is fabulous. So yeah, the posts do kind of get buried and it may seem like it's not worth posting on Google business, but if you're already posting on Facebook or Instagram, it doesn't take that much longer to post on Google. And and it just shows Google that you're constantly updating your profile, which proves to them that you're still in business, that you're still, that you're, you know, your website is still around. And when Google ranks a website for search results, it, it wants to check to make sure that that website is still active. It doesn't want to send people to old websites that haven't been updated. So posting on Google is excellent for your search engine optimization and it doesn't take that much more out of your day. So I definitely recommend doing it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. But I, uh, if not, I hope this tutorial helped and I will see you in the next one.